Hey guys, Michael here. Um, as you can see, I'm not in the shop today. Today's video is a little bit different. Uh, my wife, Laura, and I, we are going to run a half marathon. This is my very first half marathon. As you can see, I have it here on my shirt. First 13.1. And we did a little something on the back as well to let everybody know that I'm going to be slow out there. We're, all, we're both going to be very slow, yeah, but it's very fine. So, so um, we are headed out from the house and what do we got on the agenda today? Um, so we're going to drop our luggage off at the hotel we're staying at. We're staying at the Hilton right next door to the George R. Brown. And then we're going to the expo, which is super fun. This is my third time running this race. Um, they just have a lot of running stuff. You can take photos and whatnot. So we're going to do that and then have dinner and then try to sleep, which I seriously think we're probably not going to sleep at all. Because even though I've done this before, I'm so nervous and excited. Um, and then tomorrow we get to wake up at 5.30 a.m., which is fine because everybody's awake there and you can just feel the energy it's it's amazing he's gonna have so much fun i'm so excited <laughs> for him and then we get to run so yeah i'm yeah. ready so i'm gonna take you on our little adventure and film some of the experience and maybe some of the race if i can pull my phone out and not drop it while running but uh yeah let's see how this goes <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we made it to the hotel. We are at the Hilton Americas. Americas in Houston. And we are headed out to the expo now at the George R. Brown Convention Center. All right, you ready? <laughs> the crowd is this way, so we are headed towards the crowd. Apparently that's a wall of everybody's names that are running, I guess, the half and the full. And you can go up there and try to find your name. Hopefully it's in alphabetical order. <laughs> it's like some, some goodies here. Okay, we are here to pick up our bibs, which is the little numbers you wear so they know they can track you throughout the race. So we're here to pick up that right now. <laughs> All right, we got our bib numbers. Oh, our bibs. <laughs> we already had the numbers. So apparently we needed our bibs before we went to the expo. Lesson learned, don't get in there without your bib. And now we're going back into the expo to see what we can see. Oh, when we get a uh, little packet over here, a little goodie bag, I think, comes with a towel or something in there. Okay, Laura picked up some merchandise. She picked up a couple of t-shirts. And we are checking what else the owl had out here. There's just too much stuff here for me to show you all, but let's just say there's a lot of running stuff going on. Yeah. All right, that was that was crazy. A lot of booths, a lot of uh, merchandise you can buy. I won a Jim Adler Texas Hammer. <laughs> uh, my wife picked up a couple of shirts, and we are going to go check into the room and we're going to go get some lunch. Alright, here's our little room. Let's get unpacked and we are going to go eat. Okay, we have eaten and we hung out at the room for a while. We're going back to the expo because there's nothing else to do and just make sure we didn't miss anything. 
see if we can see my cousin. He's supposed to be here today also. So we'll see. And then we're we'll try for dinner. <laughs> Seems like we're eating all the time. It's part of running. Part of running, I guess. We got a carb up. <laughs> all right, we are done with the expo and we are headed to Grotto right up there. So, how are you feeling? Hungry again. Hungry again. Um, I'm excited. I'm just, I just want to hurry up and start this. The build up is what's nerve wracking. Having to try to sleep, are we going to miss our alarm? Mm. All that stuff. Is it going to be freezing yeah, cold? It's a little bit nerve wracking. Yeah. It's a little chilly out. That's what, what's 50 degrees or 40 degrees yeah. right now. I don't know. I think tomorrow is supposed to be low 40s. We're going to be have, fine when we start running. It's just. Yeah, we're going to be waiting. standing around a lot. We have some blankets. Yeah. And we'll toss those off to the side. But anyway, here we are at the grotto. And we are going to get a table. All right, we finished eating at the grotto. Food was okay. Oh, it was very good. It was okay. What did we have? Uh, we had the, oh gosh, trucker. I don't even know how to say it. The spread with this ricotta, honey ricotta cream cheese stuff that was delicious. And then the short rib milk, milky, it right. <laughs> whatever. It's a dumpling. It was so good. It was a dumpling. And we got some uh, desserts for, mm -hmm. for the room. <laughs> Cheesecake and chocolate cake. Yeah. So we are done. We're gonna go back to the room. And hopefully sleep. Shower. Hopefully sleep. Ugh. And we'll see what tomorrow. Well, tomorrow's our big run, so I'm excited. Yay. See y'all tomorrow. Bye. So apparently, Laura said we had to do a flat person picture. So I'm gonna add this to the video. We laid out all our stuff from head to toe. This is her outfit. This is my outfit. And we took a couple of pictures to post to the groups. And here we go. So now we have everything laid out. We know what to put on first thing in the morning. Good morning, everybody. This is day two of running our half marathon. It's about 45 degrees outside right now in Houston, Texas. And I think it's supposed to drop down to about 42, 41, which is actually really good for running. Uh, we are going to get dressed and head out to the corral where we can gather up with the rest of the folks that are going to be starting off with us. We're in corral letter E, which is the last ones because we are the slow pokes, which is good because you don't want the fast people running over the slow people as they pass us up. All right, so we're going to get dressed and head out to the corral. All right, you ready? You ready? <laughs> I'm nervous, I'm excited. Yeah, me too. I'm already cold. We got blankets yeah. so we can stand around in the... Not, I mean, it's not too bad, right? No, it's in the 50s, so it's a lot better than yeah. we thought it was going to be. Yeah, so we'll still get chilly just standing around, right? So we're yeah. going to have blankets and then we'll toss them off the side. Yeah, and we'll then... wear these while we wait in the corral and then once we go, we'll just jog them. Yeah. Crazy. And we turned the corner and it got so windy. I don't know what the wind chill is, but it just got cold. So this is the corral, this is corral E, which is the last one. Everybody's waiting in line to run. And if you get here early enough, you can kind of get in your group where you all run the same speed. But we are getting here kind of late, which doesn't matter because we run slow anyway. So we're working our way to the back of this corral now. Second running of the Houston Marathon. 
already went. Okay, we are one mile in. Don't worry, I'm not going to do this every mile. But uh, so far, weather feels awesome. Not quite ready to shed our jackets yet. Close. Yeah, we're close. But it feels really good. Do I? Okay, we just passed mile four. We are in the pretty part of town, taking in all the scenery. We're doing intervals where we run and walk over and over again, switching off. Right now we're in one of our walk periods. We've already ditched the jackets. We've got a, quite a ways to go. But there's a lot of people cheering for us. That makes it really fun. Up here is where you separate the men from the boys, women from the girls. Full marathon goes to the right. Keep it up. Half marathon keeps going straight. This is the halfway point. We run around this huge fountain. All right, we had a halfway health check. <laughs> How you feeling? Amazing. Amazing. I feel good too. Nothing hurts. Legs are a little bit tired. It's because we're numb. Yeah, because we're numb, so nothing hurts. Anyway, we're halfway there. We're getting so close to the finish line. The marathoners on the right, full marathoners on the right, half on the left. Hey, got it. Got our first, well, my first medal. We're running the half marathon. Let's let's get some food. <laughs> All right, we got our medals and our shirts. We are headed back to the hotel to shower, get some lunch. <laughs> I don't know. Take a look at the crowd behind us. There are so many people here. It's amazing. Awesome experience. All right, it's Tuesday, and we we did it. Yes. We finished our, our race. Um, we weren't the fastest, but we weren't. We weren't the, last. Yeah, we weren't so. the slowest. Um, we did wait a couple of days to finish this up because uh, my legs were killing me. Yeah, we could not. Our bedroom is upstairs, and so we had to keep going up and down the stairs when we got back, and it hurt so much. It hurt so much, and I was like, you know what? Let's just heal, and then we'll finish up this video. Um, for the medals, this is what the finish line or the finisher medal looks like for 2024. And then we also got these finisher shirts, and that's what these look like here. Um, they give you those when you when you finish the race But overall, it was a lot of fun. I didn't think I would like it as much as I did uh, When we were finished, we we're literally in line talking about our, our About to get our medals and I'm saying okay. I think we can do it again mm -hmm. next year. So are you sure you don't want to do it again? Mm -hmm. And 
I'm pretty much done. I just wanted him to experience it at least once, but I told him it's addicting. Once you run your first race, you just, you want to keep, even though it hurts and you don't want to run ever again, there's something about that feeling, the crowd and crossing the finish line and pushing yourself past what you thought you could do that just you kind of want more of it. So yeah, there'll be more, I'm sure, in our future. We'll see. Yeah. Um, so yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Maybe the next video will actually be in the shop. And speaking of the shop, Laura actually has started using my laser engraver, the, the P2. Mm -hmm. She's actually got familiar with XCS and she started making earrings and keychains keychains and Stanley Toppler Stanley Toppers. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, she's actually taking over the laser as far as in the shop goes. Yeah. So now we have to actually split time amongst her. So you may see her in a couple more videos coming yes, up. Yes, I have some ideas of some stuff I want to try when it's not so cold in there. So. Yeah. So Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.